Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to solve a percent problem, and we're going to solve it using the percent equation, which is the percent times the whole equals the part. We can use this equation to help us with percent problems, whether we're looking for the percent, the whole, or the part. We plug in what we are given and solve for what we are looking for. Let's jump into our example where we have Michael earned an 85% on his chemistry test. He got 68 questions correct. How many questions were on the test? Let's come to the side and work through this. Our equation, P4% times W4 the whole equals a for the part. And now we need to identify the different parts of the equation and plug in. Let's start with the percent. We have 85%. So let's plug that in. And we're actually going to plug in the decimal form. That makes the percent easier to work with within the equation. And remember, all we need to do to convert a percent to a decimal is divide by 100. And we can quickly do that by moving the decimal twice to the left. Now the decimal comes after a whole number. So for 85%, the decimal goes right here. And we need to move it once, twice to the left. So we get 0 0.85, 85 hundredths. So let's plug that in for our percent. Times the whole equals the part. So we need to figure out the whole and the part. Well, we have 68 questions correct. So we need to figure out if that's the part or the whole. Well, Michael got 68 questions correct. That's the part of the test he got correct. What we don't know is the whole amount, the total amount of questions that were on the test. So the whole is unknown and we know the part, which again, that's 68. So we keep the variable of w, since the whole is unknown, equals the part, which that is 68. And now we have a one-step equation that we can solve to figure out the whole amount. Basically, with this equation, we're finding 85% of what equals 68. So we need to isolate that variable of w. W is being multiplied by 85 hundredths. So we need the inverse operation, the opposite operation. That's division. So divide the left side of the equation by 85 hundredths. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 85 hundredths as well. Now on the left, these cancel each other out. W is now isolated. On the right, we have 68 divided by 85 hundredths. That gives us 80. So W, the whole, equals 80. Now going back to the original question, how many questions were on the test? Well, 80 questions. So there you have it. There's an example of solving a percent problem. Check the description for more examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.